we are answering all of your questions regarding the coronavirus outbreak. People are just really stressed out about this. And we have a guest right here joining us live in the station this morning, Dr. Valerie Cadet. She is an infectious disease expert with the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. We've been asking you to text your questions to us. And I know you've been going through some of these questions mm -hmm. this morning, answering our viewers' questions live. Let's start with one of, uh, one of the questions I saw pop up this morning. Can you have the flu, any strain, and coronavirus at the same time? And if yes, can someone with both cause a false positive negative on one of those tests or the flu rapid test? Can you have both at the same time? Great question, absolutely. You can have both, they're two different viruses, so you can be infected with both at the same time and exhibit symptoms. The thing is that the symptoms are really similar at least in some of the cases. So what we're recommending yeah. is go ahead and if you haven't already had your flu vaccine, get vaccinated for mm -hmm. flu. That would help minimize the risk of that mm -hmm. happening. And in terms of could you be infected with one and, and cause a false positive, yes. we haven't seen any cases of that. So can't 100% rule it out, but uh -huh. that hasn't been an issue. Could so that far. have something to do with the, the tests not being readily available yet, only through the CDC? Well, the CDC has made the tests available to health departments throughout the country. So hospitals are able to test people, you know, per PUIs, per patients under investi investigation based on CDC guidelines. Mm -hmm. But no, I mean, the tests would be very different. They would be specific yeah. for the relative viruses. Okay. I know here in Georgia, the tests uh, just reached the Department of Public Health and that they're hoping to test to be able to test more people later in the week. Yes. All right, um, so someone, someone else mentioned the survival rate, especially on cruise ships, that cruise ships, are they more of a problem because coronavirus can perhaps survive in carpet longer? Is that a possibility? I'm thinking, so coronavirus can survive on surfaces, and right now, you know, we're looking at how long this specific virus can last on surfaces. It can mm -hmm. be for up to days, um, not specifically the carpet versus the table being any more um, you know, transmissible. I think what we were looking at with the cruise ship are that there were a lot of elderly patients or mm -hmm. people who had other pre-existing conditions that were you know, kind of s stuck and breathing you know, the air there. I think that's why we were looking at such higher death rates because of the patient population in question, uh -huh. not because of the surfaces specifically. Oh, okay. All right, Dr. Cadet, continue to um, send your questions in. She's gonna be with us all morning long, answering your questions live on air and through the texting option here. So send them to us. If you have a question, continue to text us the number is 404-873-9114. Again, it is 404-873-9114. Let's send it over to Wes.